Bar code one, flame sensor open. To fix error code one, we need to check two places. The first thing we need to check is that our heat exchanger temperature sensor is in fact plugged into the right spot and that it is firm, making a good connection. The second thing we need to check is the temperature sensor itself, making sure it is still intact and connected to its leads. We can use a multimeter to check the unit itself out. If it isn't working, the multimeter will display around 1000. The temperature sensor is used also like a thermal couple in these units. Also used to control fan RPM to help moderate the heat exchanger's temperature. This also regulates the pump speed thus controlling the flame's intensity in the burn chamber. We also need to thoroughly check the temperature sensor's wires, making sure they are shielded and not going to get crimped with the heater's housing as we put it back together. Error code 2, flame sensor short circuit. To fix error 2, we need to check the temperature sensor wires. We need to make sure the wiring is routed into the right place and that all the shielding is protecting the wire. If the wiring's protective Teflon is broken, it will cause a short circuit and may also cause the wire to heat up, transferring that heat directly to the motherboard. The last thing we want is heat transfer to our motherboard. This could cause unrepairable damage and a need for a new motherboard. Error code 3, flame temperature exceeds the maximum safe running temperature. To fix error 3, we need to check two places. First, we need to check the temperature sensor, making sure that it is securely fastened. Next, we need to make sure there is adequate clearance around the cold air intake. A minimum recommended distance from any wall or structure from the air intake should be around 50 millimeters, which is 5 centimeters or about 2 inches. 5 inches is ample. This allows for optimal airflow, thus keeping the heat exchanger temperature regulated. Error code 4. The flame temperature is lower than the minimum ignition temperature. We need to check two places. First, examine the glow plug wires, making sure the glow plug is firmly plugged in. Second, the power voltage is too low, going to the glow plug. Make sure there is adequate voltage for the right unit. Amperage is important as well. Make sure your power supply is healthy and running at its optimum performance. Error code 5 and 6, error 5. Air sensor open, error 6, air sensor short circuit. To address errors 5 and 6, simply inspect the control panel to verify its proper functionality and confirm that it is free from any damage or malfunctions. Error code 7, the power supply voltage is too high. To resolve error 7, it is necessary to inspect three specific locations. Please note that this task may pose challenges, as past experiences indicate that not all Chinese diesel heaters have been accurately labeled. First, ensure that the voltage of the heater matches both the battery and the vehicle. If the heater is installed in a vehicle, also confirm that the alternator output is not excessively high for the heater. Thirdly, check the circuit board to make sure that it is not broken. Error code 8, the power supply voltage is too low. To resolve error 8, it is necessary to inspect three specific locations. Please note that this task may pose challenges, as previously stated during error 7 reviews. Make sure you verify that all voltages align correctly, including those specified on labels, battery requirements and vehicle specifications, as well as alternator output. Thirdly, check the circuit board to make sure that it is not broken. Error code 9, glow plug short circuit. To address error 9, it is necessary to inspect three specific locations. Initially, examine the glow plug wires to verify that the Teflon wire protection is intact and not damaged. Next, conduct a physical examination of the glow plug. Ensure that it is free from any cracks or breakages. Thirdly, check the circuit board to make sure that it is not broken. Error code 11. Glow plug circuit open. To resolve error 11, we must focus on examining these three key points. First, check if the glow plug wires have become disconnected from the glow plug terminal. Second, inspect the glow plug wiring harness. Additionally, check the voltage to ensure it meets the necessary requirements, ensuring adequate power supply. 
Thirdly, check the circuit board to make sure that it is not broken. Error code 12, motor circuit open. To address error 12, we must examine four specific areas. First, inspect whether the blower fan is rubbing or stuck on the outer housing of the unit. Secondly, examine the orientation of your connections and plugs to ensure they are properly and securely connected. Thirdly, examine the motor's RPM sensor on the motherboard. Confirm that the solder, points are in good condition and ensure it is installed correctly within the motherboard housing. Thirdly, examine the motor's RPM sensor on the motherboard. Confirm that the solder, points are in good condition and ensure it is installed correctly within the motherboard housing. Lastly, verify that the fan is correctly mounted on the motor shaft. Ensure it is not pushed down too far and confirm that it appears balanced. Air code 13, motor short circuit. To address error 13, ensure that the motor plug is not loose and is firmly in place. Additionally, confirm that the wires going into the plug are properly secured. Also verify that the plug's orientation is correct in the motherboard's receptacle. Ensure a thorough inspection of the wire's Teflon shield, confirming that the wire itself is adequately protected by its shielding. Error code 14. Power supply for fuel pump has a short circuit, or the circuit is open, to address error 14, ensure that the fuel pump connections are clean and snug, allowing them to establish a secure and effective connection. Verify that the voltage of your fuel pump aligns with the unit's specified voltage for the pump output. Error code 16, serial error between controller and main unit. There are two possible reasons that can cause error 16. The first possible reason could be that the main controller board doesn't match the internal motherboard of the heater. The second reason could be that the wire in the plug for the controller may be loose, causing a faulty or no connection. Error code 19. Diesel heater does not start successfully. To diagnose error 19, we need to check two specific places. First, inspect the glow plug, ensuring the wires are in good condition and verifying that the glow plug itself is not damaged in any way. Secondly, it could be related to the length of the fuel line. Ensure there is no air in the fuel line and confirm that the system is adequately primed. 
Please bear in mind that these error codes exhibit a certain universality within the realm of Chinese diesel heaters. While some codes may exhibit slight variations from unit to unit, this compilation represents the most prevalent issues corresponding to the respective error codes. Thank you for your attention, and we trust this information proves valuable for troubleshooting and enhancing your understanding of these systems.